Good morning. It's June 11th and this is your Daily Brief in Science. Here's everything you need to know. Imagine calling out to a friend in a crowded room and having them respond, recognizing your voice among the din. Now picture this scenario in the wild, with African elephants. Recent research led by biologist Joyce Poole and a team from Colorado State University has unveiled that female African elephants might be using something akin to names to communicate with specific members of their family groups. This groundbreaking study, based in Kenya, analyzed recordings of elephant calls and found that elephants respond more strongly to calls that seem to be directed at them personally. This suggests an ability to associate certain sounds with specific individuals, mirroring the complexity of human social relationships and communication. The study's findings, published in Nature Ecology and Evolution, indicate a level of arbitrary communication among elephants that parallels human naming practices, showcasing their advanced cognitive abilities and intricate social networks. While the concept of animals using personalized vocal labels to address each other is rare, it's not entirely unique. Both dolphins and parrots have demonstrated similar capabilities. This research not only highlights the sophisticated communication systems of elephants, but also emphasizes the critical importance of their social bonds. Furthermore, it brings attention to the need for conservation efforts to protect these intelligent creatures and their habitats. However, despite these significant insights, the study acknowledges that fully comprehending and engaging with the complexity of elephant vocalizations remains a formidable challenge. This discovery opens new avenues for understanding animal communication and reinforces the necessity of preserving these majestic animals and their environments. In a pivotal moment for Alzheimer's research and treatment, the FDA's Peripheral and Central Nervous System Drugs Advisory Committee has given a nod towards the future, recommending approval for Eli Lilly's Alzheimer's drug, Donanumab. This recommendation marks a significant step in the fight against a disease that affects millions worldwide, offering a glimmer of hope for those in the early stages of Alzheimer's. Donanumab targets the amyloid protein in the brain, a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease, aiming to slow cognitive decline in patients with mild dementia. This innovative approach has sparked interest and optimism in the medical community and among families affected by Alzheimer's. However, it's not without its concerns. Potential side effects, including brain bleeding, and questions about the drug's long-term effectiveness have been raised, highlighting the need for cautious optimism. The committee's decision to not restrict donanumab based on tau levels broadens the potential impact of the drug, emphasizing the focus on amyloid protein targeting. This decision underscores the complexity of Alzheimer's treatment and the need for continued research and development. There's a consensus that more research is necessary, particularly concerning donanumab's efficacy across diverse populations and how long its effects last. These areas of study are crucial for understanding the full potential and limitations of the drug. As the FDA's final decision looms later this year, the anticipation builds. The approval of donanumab could not only change the lives of those with Alzheimer's, but also pave the way for the development of more disease-modifying drugs, marking a new era in the battle against this devastating disease. Imagine waking up to frost-covered volcanoes, not on Earth, but on Mars. An international team of planetary scientists, led by Adomus Valentinus, has turned this into a reality by discovering extensive morning frost deposits on the calderas of the Tharsis volcanoes, located near the Martian equator. This groundbreaking observation challenges our previous understandings of Mars's climate dynamics and reveals a lively water exchange between the Martian soil and atmosphere. The team's findings didn't stop at frost. They also observed water ice clouds and vapor hovering above the Tharsis volcanic province, offering new insights into the water cycle dynamics of Mars and its potential to support life. This discovery is monumental, suggesting that even near Mars's equator, where conditions were presumed too harsh for such phenomena, water in various forms actively participates in the planet's climate system. Adomus Valentinas and his team are not resting on their laurels. They plan to delve deeper into the mysteries of Mars, focusing on ancient hydrothermal environments that might have been cradles for microbial life. 
By investigating these ancient environments, the team hopes to uncover clues about Mars's astrobiological potential and its capacity to have supported life in the past. This discovery is not just a scientific triumph, it's a testament to the power of international collaboration in unraveling the mysteries of our universe. It paves the way for future explorations and human endeavors on Mars, providing crucial insights that could support the planning of missions and the potential colonization of the Red Planet. The findings underscore the importance of collaborative efforts in Mars exploration, proving that together, we can push the boundaries of our knowledge and venture further into the unknown. Imagine our planet, two million years ago, plunged into ice ages not just by earthly factors, but by a journey through the cosmos. This isn't science fiction, it's the latest theory from astrophysicists led by Mirav Ofer. They suggest that the Earth's brushes with the local links of cold clouds, or LXCCs, in space played a crucial role in our climatic past, and possibly even in the emergence of humans. This theory, published in Nature Astronomy, marks a significant shift from traditional views on what triggers ice ages, pointing instead to the cosmos as a key player. The study details how the solar system's passage through these interstellar clouds affected the heliosphere, the protective bubble surrounding our solar system causing it to shrink. This shrinkage exposed Earth to increased levels of radiation and cooling particles, potentially leading to multiple ice ages. The researchers propose that this exposure to the dense interstellar medium could have been a catalyst for human evolution. Support for this theory comes from geological evidence indicating Earth's past encounters with the interstellar medium, including higher levels of elements from star explosions found in geological records. Utilizing computer modeling and data from the Gaia satellite, the team estimates that Earth was outside its protective heliosphere for approximately 10,000 years. This groundbreaking research not only challenges our understanding of Ice Age catalysts, but also underscores the critical importance of the Sun's movements through space in shaping Earth's climate history. The study calls for further investigation into the effects of galactic cosmic rays and molecular cloud encounters on Earth's climate to fully grasp the implications of these cosmic journeys on our planet's evolution. In a fascinating glimpse into the past, Spanish researchers have unlocked new secrets about Neanderthal behavior through the study of ancient fire pits in Spain's El Salt region. This groundbreaking research not only peels back the layers of time, but also challenges our understanding of these ancient humans. By examining burnt materials dating back 50,000 years, the team established that Neanderthals occupied the area around 52,000 years ago. The study, which found its way into the prestigious journal Nature, meticulously analyzed the fire pits used over a span of 200 years. What stands out is the pattern of use, marked by long intervals, indicating that Neanderthals were not stationary, but rather nomadic, returning to specific sites across generations. This pattern of intermittent fire pit use provides a window into the Neanderthal lifestyle, suggesting a level of complexity and continuity in their behavior that was previously unknown. The implications of these findings are profound, offering a richer understanding of Neanderthal life and their interactions with the environment. Moreover, the innovative dating technique employed by the researchers represents a significant advancement in the study of ancient human behavior. This method could revolutionize how we understand the movements and habits of early humans not just in Europe, but across the globe. The insights gained from this study not only illuminate the past, but also pave the way for future research in human history and evolution. This has been your Daily Brief in Science. To read more about these stories, follow the links in the episode bio. You can also subscribe to these updates via email at www.brief.news. For more daily podcasts about the topics you love, visit brief.news forward slash podcasts. Tune in tomorrow. We'll be back with everything you need to know.